When it comes to investing in ETFs, one of the most important things to consider is the ETF expense ratio. This is because this number directly subtracts from any potential gains that you've had with an ETF. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how it is that you can calculate an ETF expense ratio and most importantly, how you can get a list of ETFs on your Google Sheet and Excel spreadsheet and get the ETF expense ratio automatically. Okay, so first, let's talk about what an ETF expense ratio is. So this is basically the fees that you need to pay in order for the ETF to operate and be able to run its operations. So as you can see, the formula for the expense ratio, the way that it's calculated, it's quite simple. You basically take the amount of money that a particular ETF has in management fees, and then you divide that by the total amount of money invested in the fund. So for example, if you have an ETF that has a hundred million dollars in assets, so in this case, these are the total amount of money invested in the fund. And then let's say that the same ETF has a million dollars in terms of management fees and expenses that the company has to incur in order to run this ETF. Then the way to calculate the ETF expense ratio, it's quite simple. You take the 1 million, which is the management fees, and then you divide it by the total amount of money invested in the fund. As you can see in this case, this will provide you with roughly a 1% expense ratio. What this number tells you is that if you invest, let's say you invest $1. So we're going to enter one. And this is the amount that you've invested into this particular ETF. For that $1, you basically take that, multiply that by the ETF expense ratio. And this tells you that for every $1 that you invest into that ETF, you will have to pay in this case 0.01 dollars in terms of the expenses that the ETF will take away from your returns. So this is something that you do need to take in mind because oftentimes, sure, some ETFs can deliver great performance, but if they're taking that performance away by outrageous fees, then this is something that you have to be highly aware of because it's going to directly impact the returns that you get from your ETF. ETF investments. Now, the good thing about the ETF expense ratio is that this is a very well publicized number, meaning you can easily get this information without having to make this calculation on your own. But it is important to know how this calculation is performed so that you know how you're getting charged for those ETF fees. Now, if you do want to get the ETF expense ratio, what you can do is just simply type the name of the ETF, in this case, SPY, followed by the word ETF expense expense ratio and as you can see right away you will get through Google the expense ratio for this particular ETF which in this case is 0.0.9% so this is a, a low number relatively speaking for many different ETFs that charge higher fees now what I want to share with you next is how it is that you can get this ETF expense ratio automatically on your spreadsheet so you don't have to constantly go back and forth between Google and your spreadsheet so that you can do your ETF investment analysis. As you can see, I've set up this spreadsheet right here, which has a list of different ETFs. And you can see what the symbols are, as well as the name of the ETFs. And I've set up this cool chart where you can visually see the expense ratios for all of these different ETFs. The way that this works is very simple. So in this case, we're using the Wise Price function to be able to get the name of the ETF just based on the ticker. So if you can see here, this automatically updates. And then here we're using the wise funds function to be able to select the ETF, enter expense ratio as a parameter that we're looking for and to get the value. This is using the Y sheets add on, which you can see right here. We have tutorials on how to use Y sheets on our channel that you can check out. This works on Excel and Google sheets. And this simplifies your investment process because it allows you to simply have list of ETFs and then 
you can start to get their expense ratio but not only their expense ratio but a whole bunch of other different metrics such as dividend yield etc in fact we have a video i highly recommend you check out on how to create an etf custom screener that you can use to identify potential etf investment opportunities faster but this is the idea and this is something really helpful that i highly recommend that you use so that way you can visually see what are the best etfs that you should be looking at and have a good way to compare them all on your spreadsheet where you can also add some custom formulas custom charts etc now you know how to calculate the etf expense ratio as well as what it means and how it is that you can use this information to make better investment decisions if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's gonna allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one